Hey everybody, it's me, Bill the Cat. Uh, been a while since I did a video blog, so I just thought it's high, high, high time. Don't think I've done one since I came back from Australia, in fact. So, consider yourselves lucky. Or, you know, pandered to. Whatever. Uh, <clears throat> this is, this is, this is my blog. Welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. Uh, Quarter after five on a Friday. Been home from work about uh, what, 45 minutes or so. Just got home, took a shower, put on my new favorite shirt right here. Just this, this, this is a gift, a gift from my friend Marco in uh, in Switzerland. Switzerland, Switzerland. Uh, <coughs> this is ooh, you see, Swiss Saxon sun. It says. And it's got the two cows, two cows, and they're like, totally like, like, they're doing it, they're doing it, they're having sex. And uh, yeah, that's 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 what they're doing. And apparently, it only happens in Switzerland. <clears throat> so yeah, Marco gave sent me that, which I thought was pretty freaking funny. And he uh, he also sent me this, which isn't funny. It is it is, however, quite awesome. It's uh, That, that's a really nice blade actually holds a good edge this is Swiss Army Swiss Army issue not just Swiss Army knife it's a Swiss Army if issue this is this is the one the soldiers carry <coughs> Ooh. that's a uh, something for blackheads I think it is <coughs> anyways couple of nice gifts I got from a good friend a long ways away. I was happy about that. What else? Oh, yes. That. See that? Look at that. See that? Look at that. That's, that's my tooth, and it's moving. Uh, story about that tooth. <laughs> that tooth, that tooth I knocked out 12 years ago when I was uh, 17. And um, knocked out in the shower, actually. Don't ask. I, um, well, okay, here's the story. I know you want, I know you're dying to hear the story. So, <clears throat> This is the story. I was in, uh, I was in, <clears throat> taking a shower first thing in the morning, you know, 17 year old, years old, wake up, it's school day, and you just don't want to get out of bed, and I'd uh, be like, uh, jump, jumping in the shower, <sighs> you know, rinse that uh, aftertaste of, <sighs> what is it, teen bitterness, I guess, out of your mouth. <clears throat> And, uh, ah, snap your mouth closed on the shower head and knock your tooth out like everybody else does. <sighs> yeah, that's, that's what I did. I bit a shower head. Uh, so, knock the tooth, that, that, that woke me up. <clears throat> I, uh, uh, that's, that's my impression of 17-year-old me knocking my tooth out by biting a shower head. You want to see it again? <clears throat> A presentation. Bill the cat knocks out his tooth on a shower head at the age of seventeen. Oh! Mm. Mm. <clears throat> it went almost exactly like that. So, uh, yes, knocked that out when I was seventeen. Uh, took it into the dentist. He uh, drilled out the root, capped it off, pushed it back in my face. Uh, 
bonded it to the, to the two teeth on either side, these two here, so, uh, so it looked like one giant tooth instead of three teeth for about two months until uh, that tooth set in. <clears throat> you did a root, finished a root canal on it, and uh, and took away the uh, the bonding agent. <sighs> and then, uh, yeah, and then never charged me for any of the work because uh, he's a friend of my dad's and he's just a nice guy, apparently. Yes. And now, twelve years later, I my body apparently decided to reject that tooth. We're working, we're filing the uh, the divorce papers at the moment, and like any divorce, it's going to cost me money. It's <clears throat> cost me nothing to get that tooth put in. It's going to cost me about uh, three grand to take it out, three grand plus. Uh, insurance is going to cover a lot of it, but uh, well, a lot. I say some of it, <clears throat> not the bulk of it, probably. Fortunately, I can pay uh, I can pay in installments and don't have to come up with three grand right away. So that's all right. Um, yeah. Take it out, put in an implant. I was hoping that uh, I could just take it out and put an implant in later, but apparently that uh, that's a more complicated process, harder, more painful, more expensive. So I figured, you know what? I can pay in installments, do it now, save money, and not be walking around with a gap in my face. So, yeah. Uh, and, oh, uh, yeah. Sciatica. That's the other thing, sciatica. I have it. Um, it's, like, it's getting better. I'm doing physio uh, once a week and exercises once a day and uh, some stretches in between. <clears throat> so it's getting better. And, uh, yeah, other than that, just been working. Hot sun. It's, uh, Stealing barges. Yes, stealing barges. I have two and a half minutes. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get this story in in two and a half minutes. <clears throat> okay, I, I stole a barge today. Okay, well, wasn't really stealing so much as borrowing without asking. <clears throat> and I, I only really took it 53, 50 feet. Um, took it fifty feet across the open water to the island we were working on. Because this is the these these are the directions I got this morning. <clears throat> Go to the island. Go to the end of the road. There's a dock with barges that go across to the island. Uh, there should be somebody to meet you there, or you can get a lift across with somebody maybe. Actually, I don't think there was an oar. Just there should be somebody to meet, meet you there. Maybe you can get a lift across with somebody. Uh, da 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 da. So uh, I thought, well, if I there's nobody there to meet me and I can't get a lift without across with somebody, just take a barge. It's uh, like apparently the guy we were working for is in uh, L.A. today. I was I actually called him this morning. I was told to call him this morning and arrange a time to to meet him. And uh, <clears throat> he was in L.A. Hmm. Nice. It's, it's nice of nice of people, you know. The people I work for, uh, you know, my bosses to, you know, make phone calls and say, "Are, are you going to be? Are you going to be in? Are you going to be around to pick or, to pick him up and take him across to cut to cut your trees?" You know. Uh, apparently, I mean, apparently they don't think of that. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, that's, that's what I did. Boros took the barge across and found out later that uh, it wasn't for public use, uh, because I was going back across the other side, and, uh, some lady came up and said, uh, <coughs> excuse me, can I help you? And I said, uh, well, I, I can't, I'm having trouble getting this barge started. Said, well, that's, that's, that's my barge. I said, oh, oh, this is a private one, is it? And she said, oh, they're all private. And I, ah, okay. I'll just take the one I, I I brought over earlier back then because somebody might want it. And hey, look at that, ten seconds. So that was that's that's my day, and uh, that's my blog. Bye.